This episode of Unbox Therapy is brought to you by Hulu Plus. For an extended free trial, head over to HuluPlus.com slash Unbox. What's up, guys? Lou here, back with another unboxing video. And today, we have something interesting to look at. This is the drone controller from Evolution Controllers. It was originally a Kickstarter project, and it now exists in the real world, as you can see. It works with either your tablet or smartphone to bring some tactile controls to your favorite games. It is a physical controller. It comes in a couple of different colors, even though we're looking at the glossy black version right here. Also inside the box is a little bit of paperwork or a card. I don't know what you want to call it, but it gives you the directions on how to operate the controller, power on, pair and power off. It uses Bluetooth, so it's actually pretty simple to pair with your device. Then on the back here, just a little safety notice. They've also included a microfiber bag here, which is kind of nice since the controller itself is pretty fingerprint prone. Also inside the box, we have a standard micro USB cable. That's because the drone controller uses micro USB to charge, which is nice. Nothing proprietary. If you lose that cable, you can always grab some other micro USB cable and you will be operational. So on the front, you'll notice two separate analog sticks. These kind of float a little bit on the surface there. Uh, you've also got a D-pad, which is clicky, a select button, a start button, X, A, B, and Y. There are some shoulder buttons on the top. And then on the back, you've got two triggers, right trigger, left trigger, in kind of an unusual location, but uh, fairly easy to reach. Obviously the controller is meant to be portable, so it's smaller than what you would get out of uh, an Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 type controller to encourage taking it with you for it to be more portable than a full size controller. So let's go ahead and pair this thing up to my Nexus 7 over here. So pairing up the device is actually quite simple to do. You're just gonna wanna go into your Bluetooth settings and look for the device. Here you can see we've got the drone. Uh, I've got it connected already, or you can see there it says that it's connected. So for compatibility reasons, there's a few different modes to choose from. You can also use this controller with your PC, so there's a mode for that as well. Operation is basically what you'd expect, just like a, a games console, you're going to use your controller to interface with your player, and depending on how good you are or how much practice you've had, you'll have varying results. But it's nice for racing games, because usually you kind of have to tap the joystick or D-pad just to make little minute movements and maybe not such gigantic ones that you might get out of a uh, gyroscope accelerometer based game or even an on-screen D-pad that's a little tougher to deal with. I suppose the other benefit here is that you can place the tablet down in one static position or if you have a case or a dock that puts a good angle on it then you can just sort of stick it in one place and then use the controller to interact with your game. Only one star, guys, that's pretty depressing. Of course, there are competing products on the market, so more and more games are starting to offer a Bluetooth controller-based interface, so you don't have to use that touch screen. So if you don't have a games console or you wanna play games on the go, you know, portably, this is a really interesting way to achieve that because you get a nice big screen that you already have on your tablet. You're using the horsepower that's already built into your tablet or smartphone. Uh, one thing I will say is there is a particular competing product that has a clip on it for your smartphone, which might be an interesting addition for individuals who wanna have an all-in-one solution as opposed to having two separate devices. But if you have a case, for example, the Nexus 7 case that I don't have on here, but the official case, uh, you can actually prop up your device in such a way that it doesn't really matter. And I think that the experience of playing games on a tablet is a little bit better than a phone, obviously. So I don't know, it's a toss up, depending on which one is better or worse for you. You'll have to try that out and see. Uh, if you're interested in pricing and availability on the drone controller from Evolution Controllers, make sure to check out the description where I will put a link. Uh, but an interesting product nonetheless, it works as advertised. You will have varying degrees of success depending on the game that you're trying to use it for. But as I said, think about racing games, first person shooters, 
anywhere where you want a little bit more tactile control and you can sort of envision a controller interface, it's likely supported. It will work on Android, it'll work on PC, it'll work on Mac, it'll work to a limited degree on iOS with IK titles as I understand it. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be hit and miss. All right, guys, that wraps up this unboxing video and demonstration of the drone controller. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later, guys. Please do us a big favor and visit our amazing sponsors, Hulu Plus, who helps to make this kind of coverage, this kind of content possible. Plus, They've got an amazing service to catch up on all kinds of top tier, top quality content. I am personally a user and a fan, and I was before they even became a sponsor here on Unbox Therapy. The best part of all, you can try the service for free as an Unbox Therapy viewer. See if you like it and then become a member. Uh, I personally enjoy watching old SNL episodes as well as all kinds of animated stuff. They've got South Park, Family Guy. I'm sure you'll find something you're interested in. You can try it out for free. As I said before, just head over to HuluPlus.com slash Unbox. It'll work on all kinds of devices, including the brand new PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It'll work on your iPhone iPad or Android tablet. So anyways, if you want to help support Unbox Therapy and watch some amazing content at the same time, I'll put a link down in the description so you can check out our sponsor, Hulu Plus. Once again, that's HuluPlus.com slash Unbox free trial. You can't go wrong. All right. Thanks as always for watching and thanks to Hulu Plus for helping to make our coverage possible. All right. Catch you guys on the next episode. Later.